Nanaranya Pashuvrata Sankula Droni Alankritaha Chitra Druma Surodhyana Kalakanta Vihangamaha Nana Nanaranya Pashurata Sankula Droni Alankritaha Chitra Druma Surodhyama Kalankanta Vihangamaha Nanaranya Pashurata Sankula Droni Alankritaha Chitra Druma Surodhyana Kalakanta Vihangamaha With varieties of Aranya Pashu Jungle animals Vrata with a multitude Sankula filled Droni with valleys Alankritaha very beautifully decorated. Very beautifully decorated. Chitra. With varieties of. Druma. Trees. Sura Udhyana. In gardens maintained. By the demigods. Kalakanta. Sweetly chirping. Vihangamaha birds. So the translation uh, The valleys beneath Tirta mountain are beautifully decorated by many varieties of jungle animals and in the trees which are maintained in gardens by the demigods, varieties of birds chirp with sweet voices. Hey Krishna, Karuna, Sinudina, Bandhu, Jagatpate, Gopesha, Gopika, Kanta, Radha, Kanta, Namohasi, Tata, Kanchana, Gaurangay, Radha, Vrindavan, Ishwari, Vrishabhanu, Sutti, Devi, Prana, Mahani, Hare Priye. Ancha Kalpata, Rubyashe, Kripa, Sinu, Veva, Chapa, Tatanam, Pavani, Deo, Vaishna, Deo, Namo, Namah, Shri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu, Nityananda, Shri Advaita, Gadada, Vishwasa, Digaura, Bhakta, Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. <coughs> so, there's no purple here. So I just read uh, uh, verse 8 in English. Uh, Trikuta mountain has many lakes and rivers with beaches covered by small gems resembling grains of sand. The water is as clear as crystal and when the demigods themselves bathe in it, their bodies lend fragrance to the water and the, breeze, the breezes, thus enriching the, the whole atmosphere. So, purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Shula Prabhupada. Even in the material world, there are many grades of living entities. The human beings on earth generally cover themselves with external fragrance to stop their bad bodily odors. But here we found that, the, that because of the bodily fragrance of the demigod themselves, 
the rivers, the lakes, the breezes and the entire atmosphere of Trikuta mountain also became fragrant since the bodies of the damsels in the upper planetary systems are so beautifully beautiful. We can just imagine how beautiful, beautifully formed are the bodies of the Vaikuntha damsels or the damsels in Vrindavana, the gopis. So, it's, uh, yeah, the, the, the chapter is uh, the elephant Gajendra crisis. So, the beginning is, describes uh, how in the milk ocean is this island. Our island is in the water ocean. This describes in the milk ocean uh, uh, how beautiful uh, externally is the place. Like description, really, it's a heavenly planet basically, and. Uh, seems like you know everybody would be very happy to live there uh, and Gajendra the elephant was very happily lived there as well but even in the heavenly planets the time comes sometimes by crocodile or sometimes by Kala eternal time we have to face uh, death and uh, uh, it can be very beautiful, very attractive, very, 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 very like, attractive to, to live and to stay there forever and ever. Uh, that's I think so what mostly of people looking in this world when I coming there where uh, Maximilian making his uh, permaculture is always telling to me he says you have to be so beautiful that people want to be there want to meditate there it's just should be very attractive very uh, and we, we see, you know, people trying to create things, you know, that be very beautiful. But uh, this beauty, it's uh, always lasts very short. You have to, you all give me this beautiful garland, very fragrant as well. Probably more more fragrance than those damsels from heavenly planets. But uh, this garland, tomorrow or maybe two days more, and uh, not be so attractive, <laughs> not so fragrance anymore. So all our 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 material attraction. Our material beauty will go away, uh, will be end. You know, like Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita 2.14, what he says there, Mantrasthasti Puntiya Sutosta Sukadukada Gamapanantas Tamstitik Shasta Bharat. Time is always changing. And the uh, wise person have to learn to tolerate that. So something what is beautiful today, tomorrow can be not so beautiful. What is attractive today, tomorrow can be even abominable. You would not like to see you know, some you know, attractive lady or attractive man looks very beautiful one day, you know. Next day when the body is dead, all the beauty is 
not so attractive anymore. So this is material world. Uh, but uh, there is another world. Prabhupada mentions uh, Vaikuntha in the poor part. And the beauty there, wow, it's, uh, I think so we are lacking of imagination actually, how beautiful is there and how attractive is gopis and, and coward boys and cows, you know, it's like uh, what we have in this material world is like just a shadow, what we have in spiritual world. So, question how, how we can get there? How we can, uh, from this material world, go to that spiritual world where is everything more beautiful and more fragrant. And uh, most important, it is uh, lasting forever. It's not just like one year beautiful, next year not beautiful anymore. So, how we can uh, get there, Jao? Jao, what do you think? How we can get there? Yeah, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came in this, uh, in this world about 500 years ago when he gave us the holy name. There is many different uh, practice, meditations, many different uh, ways to achieve spiritual perfection, but in this Kali Yuga, in our life is very, very short, where we are very, very lazy, especially in spiritual practice, as Prabhupada mentioned. Uh, we just need to chant the holy name of the Lord. That is, uh, that is the way for this, uh, for this age. That's why I always push Maximilian. Max, start to chant holy name, start to chant holy name. He say, I'm singing, I'm singing, I'm singing. He say, can I, when I chant uh, on the Japa, can I sing in my way? He say, yes, chant. He say, yes. So. I, I hope that one day we'll start them. <laughs> now he's making making beautiful uh, place for Krishna, and then he will chant beautiful holy names to the Lord as well. So that's the purpose for this place, you know. That's why we are here in this uh, new Mayapur Dam, in the temple. To, to learn how to do spiritual progress, to learn how to chant holy name. Because Prabhupada said that we can chant the holy name for many, many lifetimes. But uh, if, uh, if we're chanting the, those ten offenses which we repeating every morning, then uh, we will need to continue chanting again and again and again. But uh, to, to, to shorten this chanting from many birds, Acharyas gave us the way how to chant as well. The chant is good, it's a start. But then uh, how to chant properly without offenses, it's not a terrible realization. No. Yeah. Shaitanya left us eight verses. Rupa Sanatana Goswami, all the other Acharyas left us so many books. So, 
so many books, you know, how to to progress in spiritual life, how to go, go forward, to not just stuck in your bubble, you know, and just think, now I get second initiation, now I'm Brahmin, that's it. One day we happy, we got second initiation, next day we cry, because things not going the way we would like to, they go. What to do, huh? But uh, when we don't want to surrender, when we want to go our way, then uh, then devotees, they they are trying to uh, blow up our bubble. And sometimes can be very painful. Huh? Sometimes, you know, when we chant in the morning, holy name, and something comes near you, someone comes near you and says, Sorry, Prabhu, but I cannot understand words what you're chanting there. <laughs> Whew, I experienced that myself a few times. It's like, what? <laughs> you're like ready to... <laughs> no. Show, you know, who you think you are to... <laughs> to you know, I'm chanting so many rounds and you just come here and tell me I'm chanting wrongly. Yeah, but uh, if we repeat this Trinata uh, piece and each and piece, we will, uh, you know, think you know, it's not that somebody just comes out of the bubble and just says you're chanting wrongly. If someone sits one meter near you and cannot understand the world, what you're chanting. Something wrong there. <laughs> Prabhupada said that uh, those who are sitting one meter around you, they have to clearly hear and understand uh, every word of your mantra. So, association of devotees giving us the chance to to be corrected, and that is our. Our uh, good hope, it's our you know, good chance that we can not just stuck in our bubble for a long, long time, but to do some progress. Even if sometimes felt painful, sometimes you don't like to hear the things, you know, but, but uh, if we hear and if we accept that, okay. I do wrong, then what counts, you know, that then you start to try to change something, you know, and to see how you can do better. So, yeah, that's why we are here together in this temple to learn about spiritual life in theory and then apply in practice. Because we can learn millions of shloka. We can learn, I know devotees, they know all Bhagavad Gita shlokas. But, you know, if you try to correct them and they start to scream on you, then they have theory, but uh, maybe there is something uh, need to improve in practice as well should be balanced. Only theory is not enough. It's a good start. So. so yeah, our goal is to come back to spiritual work, to Vaikuntha, and to see what is the real life. Then not our false ego in the center, but then the Krishna in the center. And then, uh, then uh, we're not looking that someone else served to us, but when we're looking how we can serve to others, and not only how to serve to others, but how better to serve to others. Because in uh, in Vrindavan, there's. Uh, Krishna has his gopis, and the gopis, 
they have the assistance as well. So there is the same parampara. God is their teaching and how Krishna likes to be served. How Krishna likes to be satisfied, you know. And the topmost gopi Radharani, she is guiding all the other gopis. So here in the spiritual world we, we, we have gopis, we have Krishna in the material world. We have as well Krishna, we have Radharani every day. But maybe we don't see them so much uh, purely as we should. Uh, so that's why uh, we have spiritual master which guides us how we should uh, uh, go forward in our spiritual master uh, in spiritual life and then we have senior devotees which uh, help him to spiritual master and then we have junior devotees which teaching us tolerance and I'll become more patient. <laughs> and this is, uh, I think, so more, more responsibility we take in this movement, more those uh, patience and tolerance we have to develop. Uh, because we have to satisfy everyone. <laughs> Someone have to satisfy just one or two. You know, but uh, when you take more leadership, then you satisfy. You have to satisfy more because we all have different needs and different levels. And they all have to be satisfied. <laughs> so, so, yeah. It's a good, good, uh, good place here to learn those things together. Uh, anyway, I was not much prepared, so I will uh, stop to speak now. And if somebody would like to add something, or correct me, or chastise me. It's a good time now. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sitting here higher today than anyone else. That's, uh, everybody can see me today and say what they like to say. <laughs> Hopefully you con connected with Srimad Bhagavatam. <laughs> That's uh, America. I was, uh, I think I was hearing from a class from Sutapa weeks ago. Um, I think it was then Bhaktisiddhanta, maybe someone can correct me if I don't recall correctly. Bhaktisiddhanta was uh, saying that uh, to correct each other we have to be uh, authority, friend and well-wisher. Mm -hmm. Is it, do I recall correctly? Um, so my question is uh, how how to become uh, I mean authority this is usually given to us by someone else that we are in charge of something but uh, how to be sure that we are friends and well wisher uh, and so how to know if we are in the right position or not to, to correct someone. Yeah, well... That it will be efficient and not beneficial. <laughs> yeah, this is not so... not so easy, huh? <laughs> to correct someone is like... Oof. Is, uh, yeah, I think so. It's, uh, it's very different situations. I mean, uh, some people you for sure cannot correct, you know. If someone is like senior for you in initiation, in age, you know, like 
uh, our position, you know, management, that we have so many, so much seniors, you know, like, I mean, really, like, some of them was chanting Hare Krishna. I was not even present in this world yet, you know, and uh, if I need correct, you know, devotees in this situation, I think so. I would ask help from others, which is the friends, which is the well wishers of those devotees, you know. Uh, you know, yeah, just like ask, asking help and to see, you know, because uh, it's, from practice I can say it's very, very difficult. <laughs> then, you know, there is those which is your, your age and like uh, your equals, yeah? There is seniors, there is equals, and there is juniors. So those who is equals, again, if you are in the position of friend and well-wisher and uh, wanted to help him, there's one thing, if you, if you want to correct him out of false ego, good luck. <laughs> Maybe you lose some friend. <laughs> or... Uh, if he's a real friend and is uh, very tolerant, maybe you just get a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit, you know, frustration or crash between. But if if you very humbly, you know, put your palms and Prabhu, I don't want to offend you. <laughs> I don't want to be bad guy. But uh, you, know, you have to really go with a very humble attitude. Otherwise, you will, you know, just, just no, not go easy. Even with juniors, actually, in these days, it's the same, basically. If I go to Joao today and you know, start to chastise him. I don't think so, he'd be happy. I mean, it's not only him. It's if, you know, if someone senior to me comes and starts to chastise me out of nothing, you know, I have a big voice. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like uh, anyone we want to correct, we have to be in position, first of all, you know, and then our attitude should be right as well. That we want to help to him. We don't want to you know. We don't want to just you know chastise him. And then especially if he's in public, you know, this is a probably worse. This is like you know. So yeah, this is uh, this is a big art, <laughs> which I'm uh, not in the position to you know describe. <laughs> Maybe I know some theory, but uh, in practice, uh, much to improve. Yes, I understand. In Krishna, it says that one rule that only two rules are correct. So when, but when you are in position of authority, you should represent the guru. It's okay. But if you correct without Yeah, I mean, as well, you know, who is Guru? <laughs> you know, Chaitanya, yeah. uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accept little boy as his Guru. And Chaitanya, 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 yeah. But, uh, I mean, you know, the story, you know the story, and Chaitanya, Mahaprabhu, we say, I just, when I go to the toilet, I have to hold my tongue to stop the chanting. And the little boy, he say, why you stop to chant in the toilet? You can die in the toilet, you can leave your body. And Shaitanya Mahaprabhu say, yes, you're right. I, I, I accept you as my guru. So, this, you know, is another thing as well. Guru, you know, if, 
this is depends on that one who is chastised as well. If he is really humble and if you know if if he accepts you as a guru then maybe you can be corrected by him. That of course is a very good and point that uh, you have to be authorized. That's for sure. It's okay? Yeah. <laughs> yes, Mataji. It's interesting how Prabhupada he took always his formula when he did the right gestures, they your pleasure were his shirt. And uh, and uh, reading his memories from different people, so the Prabhupada you can see that he, he was very expert uh, in, in his dealings with his disciples, he could see who could take his or that, who could not take it, chastisement. And uh, he was in that mood of being the well wisher. Yeah. He, if we correct somebody, we have to also to be in that mood of being the well wisher of that person. Yeah. I mean, Prabhupada was on the on the different. Just one second, Bhagavatam. Prabhupada was on the different level, you know. I mean, we, we cannot limit that profile. Just a few days ago, His Holiness Jananda Maharaj was mentioned to me as well that, you know, Prabhupada deal with all such a people, which, like, you know, how to say, almost impossible to deal. <laughs> you know, it's like really very, you know, I don't want to say anything bad, but like very different people which, uh, you know, once Prabhupada left the world, you know, all those devotees, they just, they, they just went away because they just, you know, no, nobody can deal with them and it was difficult to them as well and different positions, you know, maybe different approaches, but, but we can see how Prabhupada, he could take them all and, and he can just maintain them not just like a track for a short time, you just maintain them for a long time, you know, together. Then, and they just, you know, love Prabhupada. They just love it. I, I read in this in Vrindavan, the book, how they build the temple of Vrindavan. This, I, I, I don't remember the name of the devotee. He, he, he was bringing a lot of, he, he was preaching in Japan. Guru Kripa. Guru Kripa. Guru Kripa, yeah. He was bringing a lot of money. I mean, a lot of money. You know? <laughs> In, there was some conversation. He say, "I don't care what Prabhupada do, do this with money. If he like, he can just you know let them to the toilet. I just bring him, you know, bring him, bring him as much as I can. And they they just like you know they just love Prabhupada. They don't care about anything. It was such a love for Prabhupada." And it's not by accident, of course, Prabhupada was like pure devotee and he just, you know, Krishna guided him directly so he, he could do these things, but for us it's like... So yes, Bhagavatam Mataji. Doing my best to do it nicely. But you're coming along and saying, 
Yeah, yeah. You're just finding the fault. What about all the things I'm doing right? You know, and my mind was, became angry. But the other person spoke more gently. Yeah. And it was like, but it took time. It takes us a bit more time. Yeah, it's, of, it's, it's, yeah it's, as I say, it's really art to, to deal with people. When, uh, when I was on the Head Pujari meeting, like the, they was like training how to, as well, you know, how to, you know, solve different problems. And they, they gave this formula of sandwich. They they in the time now, they say first you glorify person, then you present the thing, and then you glorify him again. Mm-hmm. I think this is like, I'm not sure, but I think it's a very good thing. Yeah, I, I'm not sure as well, but I know that they teach us, and it's really it's really you know very i think so very personal thing and you really if you wanted to correct someone you have to know where you're going you know so it's never never to ma- never too much to praise the devotees you know and glorify them this is never too much no. and then and then you know even when you praise them you have to really be in position very humbly ask you know it's not that you just come and Oh, you doing this is is not uh, not the way. Is I mean, you know, it's like even uh, in the, I mean, I don't know how others guru, but I know my spiritual master. He, he would he never do like this. Now, first he talks so much, then he presents the thing, and then he talks again. Yeah. Lord Ananda a few times mentioned me. He said, when I saw how he's dealing in this, I was like, just, you know, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> you know, he, he, he said everything what need, needed to be said, and the what he went away happy and, you know, satisfied, and he know that he have to correct this, this, you know, thing, what is wrong. Yeah. yeah, and, but as I said, this is really art. Is you know, it's like it's not not for everyone for sure. I. I but at least we should know that that's the way to do it. We shouldn't just. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, can I, can I just yeah, yes, please. Because my, my experience is that devotees often they go away just because of relationships and yeah. things like you know being corrected in an often in a trivial way can often cause people to go away because when you have an exchange. With Natural response is to think, well, I'm going to go away. Yeah, yeah. And so we, we, then we lose the loyalty. But I think this thing of correcting people is, is also important mm. because it's done properly. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm 100% agreeing. So That's true. Actually, oftentimes uh, when we are in, a, in the action or in our life, we we can some, sometimes think that oh, you know, it's about brushing their false ego. It's not it's not so nice. We don't want them to become too puffed up. But it's I, I don't see it as praise or glorify. It's it's about appreciating the actual reality of the devotee. I think it makes a difference when we have when we have to do it when we have to correct someone that we really realize to appreciate the reality as you were mentioning of how much service they are doing how much sacrifice they are doing how much effort they are doing that sometimes we see or sometimes we don't see it's not just to put their false ego up so that they can follow the correction I think it's something real that we even for us. To, to be more well-wishing, mm. it's beneficial for us to hear ourselves appreciate them before and after so that we can really be in the good uh, mood to say the correction because then we are really well-wisher because we really appreciate. And there needs to be an authentic, a sincere, yeah, sincere love behind. Yeah. And then we can correct even higher persons because we... Our correction comes from love. 
and true love. I think this is what uh, is the magic of pure Prabhupada. <laughs> this is sincere, completely selfless love that we are trying to develop I think for a long, long way. <laughs> Hopefully with everyone in my team. Okay, someone else something? I like to mention that this for the Buddha Maharaj was a GBC for France a few years ago and he has a disciple in France and um, he, he used to say that um, it's very good to become very good friend, very good friend with devotee to develop a, a deep relationship and when you have a, a feeling for the devotees and, um, you, you, can, you can speak you can uh, help them by mentioning some something like it, it, it's easier. Yeah. First, we develop yeah this kind of person. Yeah, yeah, but how we become friends, you know. Yeah. So all the relationships is like. It's an art. It's an art yeah. so, yeah. Yes. Just a, a story I remember. It's uh, the attitude of the junior who see a uh, senior making a mistake. It was uh, Shrimati. Uh, who was in Mayapur and she had a Sankatan party of young boys in the end and one time she, she had made a calculation or something and, and the boy was telling her ah, I don't understand could you explain to me so she would and then again he would ask again 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 until she saw <laughs> oh I made a mistake and he said oh yes Mataji you made a mistake where <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this I think so. You have to be even more intelligent <laughs> and even more tolerant <laughs> and even more humble, you know, to like yeah. it's it's very good way actually, it's very clever way. Yeah. You you not say actually mistake, you just you make yourself like uh, in like a foolish position. I cannot understand. <laughs> it's very Interesting, yeah. This is how you're listening. If you listen to others, you allow them to understand themselves. Without us doing nothing, just by listening. Yeah, here, yeah. This all starts is from hearing. Okay. Shantra Shrimad Bhagatam Ki Jai Shila Prapada Ki Jai